In the year 2021, soccer surpassed the NHL as the fourth most popular sport in the U.S. And when it comes to recreational and club sports here in East Texas, the landscape continues to grow with newer sports emerging in the area like lacrosse, boxing and even pickleball. One of the oldest sports in the world continues to gain momentum. Our sports anchor Ashley Moore brings us the big business of soccer right here in East Texas. The big business of soccer, no doubt the most popular sport in the world. Not so much here in the U.S., but business is still booming. I really feel like we're in startup phase when it comes to the growth of soccer, not just in North America, but particularly Texas. Dallas Fort Worth has grown into one of the most robust soccer markets in the country. Their major league soccer team, FC Dallas, developing juniors programs in many different regions, including right here in East Texas. Then there is a club here locally, the East Texas Football Club. Our club uh, started uh, four years ago with only seven teams. And uh, right now we have a total of 19 teams. And team captain Reese Rowe has had a front row seat to that expansion. Like when I first started, you could like play a team over and over and over again within your season. And now you can like play many different teams there are out there. So we see the growth in numbers, but how about diversity? This December, Kendall Howard became the first black male in all of Tyler ISD history to sign a Division I soccer scholarship to play at the next level, making him the first, but hopefully not the last. As I was growing up, I didn't know any black soccer players, and now, you know, I got a teammate over there. I got um, one of my football coaches, his younger sons, they look up to me and everything. Just being a pioneer or, you know, starter of such things is, Amazing. For Kendall's mom, the lack of representation in the sport here locally wasn't necessarily the driving force. Well, I needed something to kind of get rid of his, uh, the amount of energy that he had. <laughs> and at three, that was all that was available to me. And so that's where it started with me because I had no idea about soccer. I had friends who played, you know, in high school, but none of them looked like us. I didn't care about any of that. I needed what I needed and he needed what he needed and soccer provided that for us. But not everyone has the resources, which is why with FC Dallas, the diversity is also intentional. We're holding soccer clinics in underserved communities so that we can introduce members of these communities to the sport that is really so easy and affordable to play. So we're really looking at it holistically, not just on the soccer field, but in the community, in the business community as well, to expand and, and hit those communities that might not be gravitating towards soccer or might not be on the soccer radar. You know, it's, it's good to see, you know, uh, more people of color getting involved with the sport, because um, I do think you know there's opportunity and you know and, and there is room in the sport itself it doesn't matter where you're coming from it doesn't matter what last name you have you know social class is everyone here is the same you know soccer is universal if you don't speak the language for example you don't have to, to play the game what if i told you that the most watched sporting event in the world could be coming to dallas in the year 2026 we're talking the mecca of the sport the creme de la creme the 2026 world cup the majesty of the World Cup and the drama that goes in this tournament and the number of matches that are played, by the time it's played in the uh, United States, Mexico, and Canada World Cup of 2026, there'll be 80 matches in the tournament. The economic impact, it's like the Super Bowl on steroids. People come to your market, they stay longer, they spend, you know, typically more money. More money in a booming economy with room to grow as expansion and popularity in soccer continues to grow here in East Texas. Reporting in Tyler, Ashley Moore, CBS 19. Kids in East Texas can join soccer leagues starting at the age of three and right now one of the most available college scholarships are in women's soccer.